Okay, and welcome to the Hinge Games live stream. Uh, hey. Tonight, what were we going on? What were our topics? I'm Bjorn Swenson. I'm Jack Joy. <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy <laughs> Easter, yeah. Uh, tonight, uh, talking about, uh, I'll be talking about the latest playthrough I did of the game, some extra dungeon features I added since our last stream, and balancing the game. Uh, Jacques, what are you going to be doing? I am just going to be talking about more of the dungeon environments I've been making. Uh, more lighting, more uh, room pieces, just kind of more rooms, assembling more rooms, things like that. Uh, and kind of what I'll be doing, kind of working on the next week, I guess a little bit more of a, procedure, of a modular system, I guess. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so for my playthrough, the, the last playthrough I did, I finished it uh, a few days ago. It took me a little over a week. We have a save system, but it would be like a play a bit, fix some bugs, balance a few things. Uh, but it took six and a half hours to play through the whole campaign, which is pretty good. I think the last time it took me like four. So somehow that went up. So that's good. Yes, six and a half as borderline a speed run. I think that's the yeah. best way to put it. Yeah, yeah. It, there it's is... taken me 20 to get to half, half not even half through the game. So. Yeah, and it's just, just there's so much stuff in there too that I just skip because I don't do any of the side areas. There's tons, there's tons of side quests and like all the procedural dungeons and stuff like that. And not even just procedural dungeons now. We're gonna have, uh, you're gonna be able to opt into playing player made dungeons too. So, mm -hmm. so much stuff. Such an extensive campaign. I'm really happy with how it's how it's turned out so far. There's still World Five means a lot of polish. Uh, so that's what I'll be focusing on for the next little bit. I just, I don't know how much I'll be able to talk about it as I'm doing it. There's tons of other bugs and stuff that we'll probably be able to talk about, but it's it's close to the end of the game, so we'll be we'll be delving into too many spoilers. Uh, yeah, and then difficulty we um we uh, had a friend play it, and he said, "Man, this is really tough," and he's a pretty good gamer. So I was like, "Okay, yeah, I'll 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 play it," and then I started playing it, and I was like, "I don't know, man. I think I might have lost a step or." some random thing changed and made it way harder because i had been focusing on the dungeon builder for so long uh, and like tuning stuff and balancing stuff there and uh yeah last then yeah i had to make a few changes there weren't there wasn't a ton of changes to the overall game balance but there was stuff like um because the procedural dungeon system wasn't uh didn't have any kind of progression uh to any of the combats in it so like right when you start the game the first dungeon you go into it it doesn't care it, it just it'll spawn like it'll spawn randomly but it can spawn like the toughest possible combat mm -hmm. so so i i added some functionality to the procedural dungeon system to be like okay if you unlock these abilities then no then just spawn these guys have you gotten to this state in the game yet no then just do this so that scales a lot better now. Uh, and so, ultimate cooldown. So I added some cooldowns. I increased it, increase it, increase the effectiveness of. Oops, sorry. I increased the effectiveness of some of the ultimates. Uh, like that's the quake that pops you up in the air, the time stuff and stuff like that. But I also added cooldowns to them. So now it's like there's a 10 second cooldown, but. Also, if you're not in combat, it's only five seconds. So that, like, if you're trying to solve a puzzle and you need to use Quake a bunch of times, you're not waiting the full ten seconds. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then there was an armor bug. I was joking about this with Shock. There was the armor was basically completely ineffective. <laughs> it's, I, th I think what probably happened, because I had set the formula to be like, oh, you need like 400 armor to reduce damage by 10 percent, and then. Uh, and then I, uh, like, probably adjusted the armor numbers in, like, the spreadsheet. Uh, like, I, I balanced them down, because you probably used to get, like, thousands of armor when you had legendary, right? Uh, or it was probably, those numbers are probably just way higher, and then I just balanced everything down. Now it's a lot more reasonable. It's, like, close to 1% reduction, but it reduces, and it's kind of comp. The, the math is... Not overly complicated, but not uh, not something we're necessarily going to go into on stream. But armor is yeah. way more useful now. So if you you pick one of the heavier classes, or you pick heavy armor, or you pick like earth armor, 
That's going to really reduce the amount of damage coming in, making you a much better tech compared to everybody else. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, and then something we, we didn't do a stream last week, so what? Uh, the new dungeon yeah, that was my fault. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I, I'm happy to take that one. <laughs> uh, but I'll jump into the dungeon. Wait, I jumped into the dungeon builder. I've gone over the browser on stream, right? <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I'll just go to the dungeon builder. Um, yeah, adding warp to any room, and you can now add towers. You can customize whether or not a room's going to have towers. I'm going to have to do a pass and make sure all the text is localized properly. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. yeah, so like, if I have a uh, room here, so I can press Y to customize. And then I could say, oh, this one has a key or it has a lock, like the door is locked. Has a switch, uh, has a warp, one, two, three, four, five. So I can add, because there's five different warps. You can either get like warp one will go to the other warp one or warp two will go to the other warp two. I haven't I haven't set anything up for like if you have, because I already have two warp ones in here. So mm -hmm. I might, I'm not sure what I want to set up for that. Uh, like if you have like five warp ones should you just go from the first one to the second one to the third one to the fourth one to the fifth one maybe you could probably make that work yeah but let's see so and then we got the tower so yeah we have you can set no tower you can set a random tower you can set uh, a tower that just as regular attacks has explosive shot has the bounce shot or the spread shot or no tower yet, yeah. And then, yeah, so do that, place that room. I can go in here. Is there any way that you'd be able to, uh, I guess, there's no way to kind of adjust how much damage that tower would do, would there? Like, if you uh, want, like, a yeah. high stakes tower in there. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I'd want to add that kind of uh, fine grain okay. functionality okay. to it. Because then, this is all, yeah, this is all on a controller, right? So it's not like you have a ton yeah. of... Uh... Yeah. Or maybe I could make another one, like another effect, like a Doom effect. It'll be like the Zelda Breath of the Wild one, where it, it will kill you at the start of the game. <laughs> It'll well, just be like... That's a, kind a, of what the towers do already. Hmm? That's kind of what the towers do already, like the ones... No, in but the, I want it to be uh... like a death ray, like what they have in... If Tony you want that, I don't know if that's what you want. But I, I imagine a lot of people like making super difficult levels. Well, the, th the thing is, like the tower in those rooms it's not necessarily it's just supposed to be something that so you don't hang out in the room and it's just to keep you moving through the rooms it's not necessarily supposed to be that bad yeah and like the the thing is like i don't think we need an extra one so like if if you want to do a beam one then that's just the regular tower attack then it's just that but then we could do like there's the, also it could also have the bounce or the spread shot or the, maybe in the spread shot is a spread beam shot or something you can make a dangerous scenario with like explosive barrels everywhere and mm. that to the explosive tower too, right? So I guess there's that. Uh, do we have explosive barrels? We don't have explosive barrels in our game. No, I guess not. Not yet. <laughs> <You're just> making <laughs> stuff up. It's like, oh yeah, we have all these features, right? No. <laughs> yeah. Careful. Because <laughs> no. the other thing too is like you're adding this, you're adding these towers to empty rooms that are already pre-made. It's yeah, not like you're true. customizing the things you placed in that. Yeah. That's a puzzle room. That's a different room. Yeah. These are just in normal rooms. Mm -hmm. And well, you can add. You can't add uh, towers to combat rooms, but you can add. Uh, so yeah, if I go customize. So yeah, I can't. I can't add tower, but uh, I can add a warp. And you can only warp when you're not in combat. If you're in combat, then it doesn't activate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Added warp and towers and. Yeah, that's me for the last couple of weeks. Jack, do you want to switch over to uh, do your screen? Sure. sure, I will switch over and do my screen. Okay, hold on a sec. And present now. Entire should. All right. Here. All right. So uh, I was sp I spent the last few weeks making more of these rooms. So these rooms were uh, kind of like the, I guess, the shape three rooms. 
And uh, what they were is they're kind of like more like corridors than actual rooms. So there was a lot of, uh, it was a bit easier because I could uh, copy and paste most of what I had made from the previous corridors, like uh, the previous corridors. I did realize I had to make a few extra pieces and a few adjustments to pieces that I'd already made. First one is this column. I had to actually add this little piece at the bottom, this little extended piece at the bottom here. Mm. It's not lit, by the way, just because it's uh, it's really dark. hard to work like this. Yeah, oh, it's hard yeah, to work like this. So I'm in the outside of the uh, post processing zone. I made uh, just another. I made another wall, sort of like this. And mm. the reason being is just because I found out there was a lot of these sort of like extra areas that it was going into that. It wasn't perfectly fitting, and it's strange because it had a lot to do with kind of these uh, archways were causing kind of problems with these kind of columns in the corners. Mm. And uh, I also had to make a diagonal piece, which I'll get to after. So uh, just to kind of show what I've, I've been working on with the lighting, I've been kind of uh, going forward with this key light, uh, secondary light motif. Mm -hmm. it takes a little while for the eyes to adjust, but yeah, we get. There's no enemies in these rooms, are there? Uh, not in the ones you're working on. Okay. Oh, in this? Yeah, yeah. You can have combats in this room. Combats in here? Yeah, okay. It's just tight combats. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. These are the rooms. And, uh, yeah. The, the nice... <laughs> have to readjust those, uh, those effects. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we have the, the, the key light, which is like a teal. We'll have the the orange secondary light. And then so we'll be able to kind of jump between a lot of different motifs with this once we get kind of the rest mm -hmm. of the dungeons filled out. Uh, I'll show a couple more pieces that I've made. Uh, where was it? It was a shape two room, I believe. Oops, nope. Suck. Shape two would probably, yeah, that would be the one with the angles. The diagonal rooms, yeah. Let me just open one up so I can show where we're at. Shape. Oh, I got shape four. No, that's what I'm working on right now. And hold on a sec. Got to open this up. Find this here. Let me just file open. Third party beneath uh, levels, dungeons, base rooms. Where's a good shape two that I worked on? Sure, I think I did that one. Uh, sure, save it. Wait. Whoops, where am I? Move this to this room. It's playing on the wrong window, hold on. <laughs> it's playing on my Wacom I didn't have on. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. just load layout, load back to the default. Play. No, there we go. Let's full screen this. So I got these diagonal these diagonal walls in here now. So nice. the annoying th thing about making the diagonal wall was mm -hmm. it wasn't necessarily just like I could take this piece and rotate it because then just a lot of things kind of fell apart. But also I needed to make a floor piece, <laughs> so right. I had to make this little kind of diagonal floor piece that went in here. And then I had to kind of remake the entire room. So it wasn't as simple as just plopping this on the existing room. I actually had to remake the entire room, rebake an entire ambient occlusion for this room, uh, just for the uh, just for the kind of the, the floor dirt. But yeah, mm -hmm. I got these diagonal pieces now. So and I got all these diagonal rooms made, and I got all the diagonal uh, diagonal walls made. So that's all the shape two are pretty much done. And yeah, now I'm just working on the next the next thing. Nice. So yeah. Uh, and I'll just kind of quickly go over the next thing. Uh, so for the next week, we are, I guess that was the room you were just in, was kind of like that room where things are falling apart. We're going to do something a little bit different where it's going to be a little smaller. We're going to, we've decided to make it kind of down to about a quarter of each tile. And we're going to kind of make Wait, tiles what, using it. So you might want to explain what's going to be smaller. The room's not going to be smaller. Yes. So uh, let's go back to the other shape. Recent level for what shape was it for this one?
Oh, I don't think I have this actually lit, do I? No. Oh, I do. Okay, so these rooms are the the variant of rooms that we have to kind of, rather than make a specific room, it's going to be sort of like a modular or like a system that we're going to have to make. So it's going to be a tile-based room. And we've decided that we're going to make going to be made up of tiles. modular tiles, yeah. Yeah, modular tiles for this rather than... Uh, Rather than kind of just a pre pre made room, that that gives us a lot more flexibility to change either, these rooms on the fly. Uh, something I was actually going to ask you is, do you want diagonal pieces? Uh, yeah, actually, they'd probably be pretty useful, and and, and yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll make diagonal pieces too. So yeah, it'll be one quarter of these size, and that's kind of where we're going at now is figuring out what we're going to do because some of these have like the falling floors, some of them have like the falling, uh, you know, just we need to kind of make yeah. cohesive. Some so of them have like don't... water and rivers and yeah. stuff like that that you could fall into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to kind of keep everything simple on my side, it'll probably just be we're gonna have sort of like the texture of like a of a rim. I'm I'm just kind of working on a design for that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, some kind of a rim, and then this will be like the gold. Whoops, the gold piece, and then we'll just have kind of like a projected brick texture on the rest mm -hmm. of it. So everything should line up. And uh, yep, yeah. and then that way, if we want things to fall down, it'll be like, aha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same texture, but it looked like it wasn't. <laughs> we have to <laughs> do some of that. And uh, yeah, diagonal pieces, working on these kind of corner adjacent pieces as well. Uh, okay. I think there's going to be, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting. We'll see mm -hmm. what we can do with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's where I'm at for this week. Uh, and as of right now, I'm still filling out more of the lighting as I do them. I'm just kind of going through room one, kind of going through them chronologically, the way you named them, I guess. So about halfway done, and as soon as they get to, like, room shape whatever, I'll remake that shape. And so you're just going to kind of get them as I, I make them. And I get kind of stopped when I, I get to a piece that needs making. So that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, the yeah, thing so is, whenever, once you make uh, this, I yeah. think... Um... Is like so. One is is the regular square one. Two is the rounded hallways. Two is yep. the I, I call them rounded, but it's like the diagonal corners. Three is the yep. hallways. Yep. Um, but like I think four, five, six, seven, and maybe one or two more should all be able to make use of this uh, modular tile system that you're making right now. Yeah. So so that'll yep. cover most of the rest of them, and even the ones the after that. The only thing I might need to do is actually kind of drop down like another tile set for the uh, for the uh, water room, because you need to make it a bit lower, right? Uh, yeah, so yeah. The one that's just solid water? Like, it's just a yeah. pool? Yeah, yeah but I, I might probably just model a different kind of lip for all of that, so mm. it'll be like a different sort of small lip. Well, it's not even a model. It'll just texture something. And it'll just mm -hmm. be like a repeated brick texture or something like that. And then we'll make it, you know, dark. Dark and watery, I guess. So, okay. yep. Yeah, it'll get there. Nice. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get the dungeons done relatively shortly after this. <laughs> I'm learning as I go. Yeah. I'm learning what yeah, we need. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Be... Yep. Like, yeah, after the, after the tile set's done, there's, that's, that's most of the rooms. Yeah, and then I just have to do this hallway, I guess, and the door, the mm -hmm. chink, chink, whatever door we're going to have in there. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Cool. But yeah, it's it's fun to work on, that's for sure, because I, I get to kind of work on it, I get to play through it, and I realize, oh, look, a lot of the game's starting to look better. It's starting to look mm -hmm. like an actual game now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cool. Yeah, just before we were doing the stream, I was talking to you. Oh, and you got a new computer, by the way. How's it working? Oh, yes. I got the new computer. It's super fancy. It, everything goes way faster, and there's less glitching. And I can actually work on Unreal mm -hmm. and and have Max open and have ZBrush open and have Substance open, and it doesn't lag. And it doesn't lag. And you can stream stuff. <laughs> and I can stream, yeah. Everything's fantastic now. <laughs> That's I love great. It. <laughs> yeah, I ordered yeah. all the parts last week, and then Jock was like, oh, I'll come over and maybe get your graphics card, because I offered it to lend him a spare. And then when he shows up, I had built a whole new PC for him. Yeah. My wife was very happy about that. She was complaining about my PC for the last little while, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty quiet, too. Yeah. 
Yeah. Although I it's don't really know how it's got an RGB on it. Sorry? <laughs> it's got the RGB on it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Which I probably not going to ever make use of, but. Yeah. And it, it matches the graphics card. It's like a white case and a white graphics yep. card. It's really nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So after this is done, I've got a few more shot things to do to. I guess for the trailer, not including making making Odin and Neath. That'll be really fun too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, that's... so yeah. I guess I, I'd probably go back to making Dreams Reach, finishing off Dreams Reach. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. the shot, at least the pieces for the for the shot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it'll be in good good shape for a trailer and uh, Kickstarter and all the other stuff. Early access. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing I was looking at. Like, I, before the stream started, I was talking to Jacques about uh, I just played uh, some of the Baldur's Gate early access stuff, and yeah, it's it's I was kind of I was kind of like, oh yeah, I'm only capital of four. It's like it's early access, and I'm like, okay, well, like, what are we gonna do for our early access? And it's like we could pretty much release the dungeon builder, but then like, yeah, you don't get any of the abilities and stuff like that. You can't play any of the campaigns. You just play the dungeon builder, and you have access to the dungeon browser. You can build whatever you want, and you can play other people's dungeons, but you don't have access to any of the abilities. So we'd probably remove some of the elements, like the the quake uh, platform and the uh, the spin gear thing. So like anything that you can't actually activate, we'll remove those items. But yeah, and then yeah, people will be able to build, download a game, and build stuff and upload it. Yeah, well, that's a that's like a pretty that's our our. Our killer feature. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. everyone's going to be pretty pretty excited to play. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think that's uh, a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Yeah. Hmm. Man, we just burned through everything we wanted to talk about. I wonder if there's anything else. Is yeah, that really, uh... <laughs> that's good. We can we can keep it also a bit short too, because mm -hmm. like we're uh, unless you guys want to see me model, <laughs> which is kind of what I'm yeah. doing in the background while I talk. Yeah, I get uh, yeah, I'll, I'll transition over to that. Sure. Yeah, sure. So basically all I'm doing is kind of going back to this. Uh, so the way this kind of system is going to work, because I, I kind of recreated that room to kind of give an idea of mm -hmm. what pieces we're going to need. And I realized that because we have a quarter, uh, the easiest way to think about this thing would be we have kind of like a, like a full brick piece, mm -hmm. and then we'll have a corner piece where two trims would go then we'll have like a trim on one side a trim on two sides and maybe a trim on three sides but i mean i could make the piece and just never use it okay uh yeah i can even make a trim on four sides and just it'll be this block that you can't access <laughs> oh yeah well because we're gonna have rooms like that where you need dodge to get through so we have a lot of platforms like that that it's like you have to do yeah. use dodge to get onto that platform. so i just figured i'll make the four blocks four different blocks and the diagonal ones i guess and then i guess i I'll, i just have to make sure that this corner piece also works with the diagonal piece mm -hmm. or i'll just make a separate diagonal piece for it yeah uh the diagonal piece what I'll probably do, yeah, I could probably make the diagonal piece work with that, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I guess it would probably make sense if I didn't have that there. Well, I get like the diagonal because what, what, what do you need for the diagonal piece? Like, there would be you wouldn't need oh, trim yeah, sorry. on the diagonal side, but you basically need yeah, the trim on the diagonal side. If we if we want to trim on the diagonal side, so I, I kind of now have to make that yeah. work with whatever kind of adjacent piece it'll have to kind of work for both but yeah, it could probably make it work like this and well because the thing actually i i would say you hmm. oh actually wait i don't even need this i don't need the i don't need the corner i can just tr go yeah, from yeah, regular this to yeah i can, I can uh, go from this uh, sorry this middle piece which represents mm -hmm. the uh the yeah. uh a single block it'll just go from that to diagonal i guess yeah it'll work uh because I'm just trying to. Could you put in a triangle there, uh, just to see what a diagonal, how diagonals, how you imagine a diagonal? Sure. Okay. Uh, quickly make this thing. Three point seven five. And that's the thing is because yeah, these are a quarter of the size. These are one point. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, so it'll be like that. And then, so if I were to, I just, I made, I added all these things together. Because gotcha. you could also like rotate that triangle 180 degrees and it could be like that too, right? Yeah. Let's get this out of the way. I'll cut this. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, that's right. I can just rotate this thing 180 degrees. Uh, 90, 90. Put on this side, right? Yeah, something like that. Because it could be, or yep, yeah. yeah well, because uh, it could be like that, or it could be. Um, I gotta put this. Uh, like yeah, rotate it. So it has the, the other way. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. One sec. Uh, right, 180. This is based on the local orientation of it. So uh, it just goes here like that. So it could, yeah. it could be either way. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, okay. So um, exactly. No, <laughs> that's well, what no, no is there a lip? Oh yeah, that then it'll just kind of go like this. But the thing is, no, because you never come to an edge here. Am I right? Because like this means that like this block here means that it continues into a, a regular brick. Uh, not necessarily. It, it, no, because uh, I could make a a double lipped one, one double. of two trims, like trims on both sides. Because the trim I don't, is no, I don't think no we'll need that. Because yeah, because these are a quarter size. I don't think we'll need that. If we do that, then we make yeah. make it with all of the. The trims, right? Yeah, but what I mean is, is like this trim was supposed to denote you not it not oh. being something oh, no, you no, walk yeah. off. So so hey, oof. yeah. So if, if it know. if it's like that, then this would have to be the trim on this side, right? Mm. But uh, so, so the thing is, like, I don't, I wouldn't worry about it being, uh, yeah. Like it, it's, it's like not that. the fact that it's one. Uh, like we'd probably have it at least be uh, too deep, so it'd be two point five meters. Yeah. So it'd be two of those, and then yeah. the other one will just be the same thing, but flipped one hundred and eighty degrees, right? Yeah. But we are so going to have really a diagonal that way. leads up to that. I, it wouldn't go the other way, I don't think. So what do you mean? It would like we wouldn't put it up against this other way, like the uh, we wouldn't. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't put it this way, or whatever way it was. Uh, where was it? Like this. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Well, it's just because. Uh, yeah, it would. It is, would never go this way. Well, the thing is, because uh, like if you rotate, so if you duplicate that, rotate it 180 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Uh, no, the uh, not that the triangle. Duplicate yeah. that, rotate it 180 degrees. Yeah. And then put it in the like opposite corner. What do you mean? Uh, like, like in the gap. Uh, oh, in the like, gap? Yeah, in the gap, in the opposite corner. So down, 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 down. Okay, so it's on the other side. Yeah. And then over. Like, like that. We'd have stuff like that, right? No, because then the trim would be on this side. Well, no, but that's a shape we're probably going to want. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if we do it like that, then this trim is all going to be on this side because this is going to be the gap. The trim goes on the gap side. Trim goes on the yeah, no, no, but I'm just talking about this shape, the, how we're going to oh, use yeah, the yeah. triangles. I'm not talking about the trim you're placing yeah. on anything else. Yeah, but we could, you could even like put it here if you want it. It'll be a pretty narrow gap, but I mean, you could have it like that. I, I probably wouldn't, mm -hmm. uh, because that the shape of that gap makes it very weird. Like, if you approach it from some angles, you'd auto jump right over it. And oh, other angles yeah, okay. you'd have to dodge. Like there's there's yeah. a certain range that we try and avoid, 50 centimeters to 100 centimeter gaps. We actually try and avoid because oh, okay. it's just over the edge of, or it's Ooh. it's very misreadable as to what you can auto jump and, and not. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so this is going to be my project for this next week. And then making the rest of the dungeons and lighting the rest of them. The lighting is a bit easy because at this point, because I have enough of them made, it's just really just copy and pasting them, <laughs> and just kind yeah. of doing some minor adjustments. So, the same yeah. with the walls; that the walls are pretty much grab uh, copy and pasting them at this point. 
Yeah, so, that's the thing when you have a palette, like it just becomes so easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things are yeah, things are, are getting to be. It'll be done pretty quick, I think. So I said I think I said that last week, and then I started realizing I was missing a whole bunch of modeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing is like this is this is the big part of the set where it's like it'll give yeah. us a ton of variety for all the rooms and stuff like that. Yeah, and we'll be able to sure. make like even more if we want to. Yeah. Minus um, five. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it, I love stuff like this though. I kind of like like making stuff like this. It'll be interesting because I think I want to do something cool with like the the sides as well, just kind of because of how easy it is. I could just like duplicate it. No, I can't. This actually needs to be its own kind of tile. We're also talking about like how each piece has to be like a, a bit of a bevel. Uh, if well, if you want that, because it's the the thing is, it kind of makes sense that like. If the gap is going to be like a piece of the floor that breaks away, then it's it's weird if it's mm -hmm. like a cut night. It's a if it's like a perfect ninety degree cut, you usually put a bit of a bevel yeah. on there, right? Yeah. So if I were to go uh, extrude like this and break it down like that, mm -hmm. or whatever forty five degree would be, and then uh, as long as we have the hard edges like that, uh, mm -hmm. and the the point is there, we'll yeah it would be all it'd be actually all the way around wouldn't it uh yeah yeah well actually no I, it, I, not on this side because you doesn't need to fall on this side because this is the trim side it would just be oh, on okay, these two sides mm -hmm. yeah the trim sides never never fall through do they oh they might actually yeah if you want them to look like they yeah like if we want any of them to be like the one that decoys could fall. yeah 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 and then I'll probably, just for the sake of making things easier, the ones that fall, I'll probably just model like crack or something in there. Model like yep. various kind of slashes or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll have a, a crack yeah. or so, something slightly different on the material or something like that. That's just like, oh, yeah. this one, this one. Uh, really I, I kind of want to keep the same material just because I think that'll, that'll be a bit cumbersome having like different material sets for ones. Oh, yeah. I think okay. it'll be easier if we, we mod stick to modeling, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay. It's one of those things where we can, we'll see what it looks like and uh, see how far we can get with it before I decide to kind of add a whole bunch of extra work on. Like I, mm -hmm. I, but like modeling a slash, what I could do that in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then apply the exact same texture. Yeah. We could also like vertex color it so it's a slightly bit darker mm -hmm. or slightly bit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's going to yeah. be hard to see with your lighting. It's very harsh lighting. Yeah. Or more, yeah, I guess what you mean, like more matted or something like that. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> we'll we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing is like, because basically this doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be a massive change to the material either. It could be just be like, oh, yeah, this yeah. is the, the other instance that it just, like, we're using either vertex color or just some other, like, slight modification to an instance of the material on it. Yeah, a bit more dull and a bit kind of like flashes darker, animates darker, every pulsate's dark. Pulsates you know. dark, evil, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just put, get, get like an effects artist to put like an effect on it. It'll like have that black smoke coming out of it. Yeah, we try <laughs> to keep this subtle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not here. <laughs> yeah. I do wonder though, like, because like Zelda doesn't keep things very subtle when they do stuff like that. Like, do they? Mm. Otherwise, he gets that Mega Man annoying thing where you don't know if it's going to fall through the ground or not. They do a lot of their puzzle elements are very obvious. Occasionally, they do things that are very subtle, and it's oh, that's true. Like the fall through the ground stuff, in like that's like the most annoying mechanic. I haven't seen them use mm -hmm. since Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I'm trying to think like. Yeah, stuff like that. Or, I want to say the fire palace where you just kind of you're walking forward and you fall through the ground and you have to like walk all the way back, go up the elevator, and then you have to like find out where <laughs> like you put a bomb shoe on the ground to see where the oh, yeah. where the illusion ground was. I forgot what it was. Yeah, yeah. I want to say the fire palace. That's where it was. Mm -hmm. No, there was an illusion level, right? That was the one, the one in in the town in Ocarina of Time, right? Uh. Uh, the one in the well? Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, that was, yeah, I that, that was it. That was the one with the where you had to use the uh, the boots, right? 
Yeah. The like the not the heavy boots, but the wing ones. Or I guess mm-hmm. you switch back and forth between. I've not played that game in like nearly twenty years, so. Yeah. But yeah, that's the last time. I, I think that's the last time they used it and realized that it's just kind of an annoying mechanic. So. Well, the, the maybe thing obvious is, is the way to go. Generally, it's it's not one or the other, but usually you you pick one and you stick with it. So either yeah. everything's super subtle, and then people know to keep an eye out for it, because it's the thing, it's the inconsistency that bothers a lot of people, where it's like, yeah. oh, if everything is super obvious and then there's one thing that's subtle it feels like a bug it doesn't fit in with everything else because everything else is super obvious and yeah. then if everything uh, is like very subtle and it takes a lot of time of like looking over the entire environment and trying to figure out what yeah. the what the inappropriate thing is or uh misplaced thing it's like oh and then one thing is like super obvious it's like well that's you wouldn't even recognize it as a puzzle or anything like that i wonder if something like this would work where it's just sort of like mm-hmm. you know you have just a beveled edge version like that yeah, on all of them and then you have like and then sort of like you, know, you walk on it and you know it's going to fall but at first you're like i mean the trim is there i mean it is going to fall <laughs> like and maybe that might be enough yeah maybe yeah but then i could probably go ahead and like try making this thing just a touch darker well then let's uh let's grab this color there uh, okay, let's make this a new color. Am I using dark in the entire thing? Oh, one sec. Uh, matter. Okay, that on here. Make this just a touch darker. It's been so long since I've used Max. I don't even remember how no. to do any of this stuff. I never used materials with Max. I was just doing animation stuff. Yeah. How subtle can we? Uh, that's about. That's pretty subtle. Yeah, that's very subtle. So, like, that'll be kind of the thing where if you see a couple of these things, they are gonna fall through. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It'll still have the trim on it though, but beware. Oh, mm-hmm. lush lips. I can even put that little lip on the trim as well. Yeah, that should be pretty. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, maybe that might work. Yeah. I'll I'll look into it. See see if it's like one of these things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, play around with it. Yeah. I mean, I could make something a little bit more organic where it's actually like a crack through the entire thing. But mm-hmm. I'm just worried that like we get, we kind of want to play with the idea of having like a, a brick floor on there. Mm-hmm. Almost a brick floor. And uh, if we have the brick floor, it might be kind of a better idea for, oh, let's tile this a few times. Okay, 10 by 10. Oh, that's a bit too much. Let's go 5 by five, oh, 5 by 5. If we do something kind of like this, it might be a bit... Can we put the brick tile on here? Let's see if... No, it's not. No, not quite there. No, oh, the UVs aren't matching, so... No, it's uh, the tiling. It's a different... I renamed it, so it's... Is that it? No, that didn't work. That ain't working. Uh, four, eight, yeah, five by five, that ain't working. Whatever, but yeah, it'll be something like maybe something like that, maybe something a bit different. So it might, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, hold on, uh, let's see if it's uh, UV two. Well, for some reason, I thought we'd have a lot more to talk about, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was two weeks, but yeah, I mean, we burned through it pretty quickly. I don't know, and there it was. I guess wasn't like super. Because it wasn't like it was a playthrough, and there's a lot of little things to fix, like block break and fix that. Fixed. I I made it way more impactful. So like, if somebody's blocking and you do the proper attack to break their block, they used to like get stunned and then get back up before you could even do anything. Now there's a full four seconds, or is it was three there? There we go. Four full four seconds where they're on the ground stunned, so you can stun them, or you break their block. You could dodge through them and do a range a combo from behind to do extra damage. So you can actually do interesting things now, and it feels rewarding. And same thing, I fixed a bunch of stuff with um, the. Uh, I guess I could launch it and see. Let's see. Sure. I'll stop sharing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, 
<laughs> have to transition out. <laughs> So yeah, there's a also fixed a bunch of stuff with um, Quake as well because there was some weird stuff with that. It's, it's always an animation bug, like because uh, when you do the Quake thing, enemies get affected by the wind, so they get yeah. knocked up in the air into the wind, but they weren't getting pushed by the wind until after a certain point, uh, and oh. I realized like while characters were in the stun animation they couldn't move horizontally Ooh. and that's a thing because it, it was using root motion animation yeah uh so it was using the animation or it was using the movement from the animation it was supposed to be getting from that oh i'll just show real quick so yeah that's my playthrough six hours 25 minutes 38 seconds for me to play through the wow. whole game uh, and now Touch builder to test some stuff out. Pick this character there. Just beat the ape. So, um, yeah, so I fixed some stuff basically since I changed the settings on that. So basically, it could move while it was moving around the. Uh, it could move around while it was playing the stun animation. And then, yeah, so now when an uh, enemy gets popped up in the air because of. Uh, because of the quake ability, they can get pushed by the wind, and it, it works much better now. Nice. So, but I'll go add a combat room. Get rid of this, actually. So, yeah, chameleons. Yeah, we'll just do a regular combat. And fighting against small guys. All right. So, uh, can these guys block? I hope these guys can block because that was the whole thing I wanted to show. I guess it'd be easier to show with the. Uh... Okay, yeah. So, block it. Do the appropriate attack. Uh, uh, hit, hit. <laughs> So now that I get stunned for a while, I kind of hit them. So it's like actually a lot more rewarding to break someone's block instead of just going to the attack. You can hit them with the right attack, but then they're stunned for a while. And especially this very useful if I switch these two uh, giant guys that you can imagine. Like, what's happening? Can't exit out. Oh. It's a bug. Yeah, I press it B, I can't get out. Oh no. Uh oh. And I can't do anything. What's this? Oh, that was undo. Now I gotta redo. Huh. Hmm. Was just lagging or? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. I, it must be because I jumped out and it didn't reset something. I'll have to look into that. Mm -hmm. I'll have to reload. But yeah, like you can imagine with uh, like larger enemies having them kind of breaking their block and having them for that long will give you a much bigger opportunity to get some hits in. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other thing too is yeah, the uh, launching guys up because it used to be it used to only stun them for like a few seconds. The the quake yeah. ability. And now mm -hmm. it waits until they're back on the ground, and then it leaves them stunned for a couple more seconds. Because it oh, used cool. to be like same thing, same thing as the breaking the block, right? You launch them up into the air, and you get a few seconds, but then as soon as they hit the ground, they're on you again. So now it's uh, now they're stunned for a while, and that's why I added in the the cooldown because you used to be able to just keep stunning them over and over and over again with Quake, but now there's a cooldown, so you can't do that. Yeah. I gotta change that, <laughs> that <laughs> splash screen and and this little character creator. Oh, yeah. Neither of them are in the trailer though, so hmm? not, neither of them are in the trailer though, so there's not a lot of pressing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not super. It's not really pressing. Mm -hmm. 
All right, yeah, so... Is this the dungeon test room that you're in? No, no, this is the dungeon builder level. Oh, okay. So I eventually do have to do, like, a pass on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and they get pushed away from you a bit. Oh, and you can see I have that uh, pulsing thing in my... Um... Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, might have to change that. So, so yeah, you can see the... I have that timer thing cooling down, so that's my ultimate cooldown. So if I use that, then I can't use my <laughs> ultimate for the next little while. Ooh. Whoa, what happened there? Funny how distracting this floor looks with the lighting like this. Yeah. And once you go back to the dramatic lighting, it's actually <laughs> it's not just. I had. To I mean, it's not that distracting. Out. Like the characters are way brighter than. It. Yeah. Oh, it's because I, I now have that character. On the, I have the light on the camera now that basically lights all the characters. So. Yeah. So now you just get the extra value in there, so you also don't get lost in the shadows. Rooms are dirty. They don't really look that dirty uh, when you actually play it, I guess. No, when you're in prop with proper lighting conditions. Yeah, I mean, it it's yeah. dirty ish, but it's just sort of like dirty enough to not look like it's tiled. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all I kind of wanted. Yeah. It breaks up the tiling, I would say. Okay, but, okay yeah, so this. So like this would be an example of uh, one of the rooms. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't exit again. Mm. Maybe I should use a pipe. Let's see. Brands levels menu. Hmm. Yeah, because like. Hmm. Because basically, I override what the B button does, so you can exit the dungeon. Mm. But maybe I don't undo that once I go back into the menu. Yeah, it's weird because it's a completely different section. Hmm. Yeah, let's try right here. Play in editor. <laughs> yeah, that Can't use that. But actually, images. So that does consume the input, though. If I look on a player controller. Seems to be working. Okay. Uh, and breakpoint. 
that's it. All right, there we go. Holding room, pulse, pulse, exit menu. Menu load complete. Okay, so menu load complete is not getting called the second time I exit. Okay. Load complete. Check it. Actor. Uh, I think I'm going to need to go into the shop, parent. Just check here. Hmm. Debugging on the go. Yep. <laughs> the thing is, actually, I might not even need that. Try this. Because I think that's, cu that's caused by another uh, bug that I fixed where I was creating the menu over and over and over again. And... Okay, and done. That should work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I fixed another bug where... Oh. Mm -hmm. Fixed another bug where uh, basically every time you exited and, and went back up to the roof, it created the roof, oh. or went back into the thing, it created the roof again. So yeah, mm -hmm. that works mm -hmm. out. Because since it already exists, I don't need to recreate it. Because what I was doing is I was reinitializing it each time, which needs uh, to load in the proper dungeon here. But since uh, I'm not creating a new one each time, and I'm reusing the old one, everything's already set up properly. But now that I've fixed that, and I might have to do the same thing on... Oh no, I shouldn't have it there. Maybe. I'll check and see if that... But yeah, so here's the di here's the example of something I already have set up. Nice. All right. Yeah. And yeah, that's cool. uh, obviously river. Okay, too. Oh, and that's something else I added. So now, when because you have the fall recovery, whenever you fall off something, yeah, it teleports you to your last safe location. Now it applies a little a little stun thing, so you're like stunned for a second before you get back up, rather than just teleporting you up. But it's like, well, what just happened? Yeah. A little slight punishment. Yeah, yeah. You take it uh, a bit of damage. Yeah. Might add a little. Uh, no, I guess I don't necessarily want water because you could fall off a mountain or something. Yeah. Oof! I'm almost dead now. There you go. Hmm. Let's go back up and see if that same bug happens on the other builder. I don't think it does, because I'm pretty sure I was testing some other stuff with that. Alright. Let's see if I go back to it. Nope, that works fine. There we go. Ooh, got some gaps in here. Uh-oh. 
Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> What's going on? Did I not make that properly? Yeah, I didn't make that properly. Sorry. Uh, did, you, did you do a pass on this one? Because this is the puzzle room. No, no I didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a... Uh... I did not. Because that's... Ooh. I could actually... Ooh, I didn't lock the player's controls. I can still shoot and stuff. But I can... This is a different size room as well. Ooh. Yeah, because that one, the one by one, looks like it has some floating stuff, extra floating stuff out. Yeah, I haven't part. finished it yet. Okay. Probably one of those things I just sort of started, didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a bug there where while in the shop I can run around and shoot and stuff. I'll have to take a look at that later. Alright. But I think that's enough live debugging for now. Yeah. <laughs> So, and uh, yeah. cool. We call it a stream. Yeah, might as well. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good night. <laughs>